Oh goodness, look at the little hairs. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to another Saturday with Lail. Um, you guys, today is going to be a little, well, a little bit different in that I, um, I have something after this. Well, uh, lots of times I have things after, but um, this one I have a hard stop. So it is nine o'clock uh, Pacific time right now, and I will be stopping at 1030 Pacific. So I set the alarm on my watch and we are hoping <laughs> that that goes off and I don't get sidetracked because you know me, I can get sidetracked. Um, so someone out there, help me watch the time just in case. Um, I have a little half an hour break in between there to get all of this cleaned up. And then I have, I've been teaching at a virtual event this weekend uh, that normally takes place in Southern California, uh, but it's virtual. So I have something to do, a live to do for that um, very quickly after this. Hi mom, good morning Lynn from Denver. So you guys, we still will have, um, we will have lots of fun in the next hour and a half. And I have uh, had a bit of a crazy week. So um, as we get going, I will talk to you about what, how I approach today, knowing that um, I didn't have a lot of time to plan for or prep for uh, today. But I think what I'm going to talk about will be super relevant because sometimes you want to create, but you kind of get a block or you don't have a lot of time to put something together. So we'll talk about kind of how I approached it. Um, Ola from San Jose, Toronto, Kathy from Washington. Uh, good morning, everyone. So we have a couple of things that we need to talk about and I will get through them as quickly as we can so we can work. Hi, Tina. Uh, so the I have my list. I have my list taped to a chair because, uh, well, anyhow, that's just what it is. Um, Okay, so last week we talked about the List It stamp, and that was this stamp that I shared. Try to get the glare off of there. Um, you guys, super, super popular. In fact, before I even shared it last week, uh, my first order was gone. So the good news is I have another order. Um, I have it up on my website for pre-order, so you can order it. I had so many people say, you know what? We don't wanna wait till it comes back in. Can we just pre-order it so that um, we are sure to get it when it does come back in? So um, I have included the link for that in the description of the video down below. And um, the good news is I talked with my friend Andy who, um, who made the stamps. Um, she has a large order, um, another large order, I should say, coming. She, I cleaned her out the first time, and so she has a bigger order coming. She also let me know, and I didn't know this, and it was the sweetest thing, that um, she's keeping the stamps exclusive to me through the end of the year. So if you're looking through them for them elsewhere, just get them from me. Um, anyhow, here's the thing, though, you guys. If you have tried to get stamps from my friend Carrie Bradford, um, a number of other people, that make their own stamps in the stamping community, there has been um, a shortage on some of, I don't know if it's the rubber or the, I don't know what it is, um, but the suppliers, and I think it's just all COVID related. So long story short, that pre-order of the second order of stamps will come in that like the end of October. So as soon as they get here, we will ship them out as fast as we can. Um, I have to tell you, you guys really, <laughs> You, you had Nick and I working all hours around the clock last week, but that was good. Um, but all of the first round of stamps, everything has been shipped. So um, your order should be on the way if you don't have it already. That brings me to our second thing. Um, I announced a giveaway last week for two of those stamp sets. So Andy had sent me uh, two stamp sets to give away. And um, in order to enter that giveaway, you just needed to leave a comment on the video from last week. So I have um, drawn two random winners. And the two random winners are, um, okay, I have to bring this closer. Terry Takashi, I don't even know, Terry, I'm so sorry. T-E-R-R-I-T-A-K-A-S-H-I-G-E. -E. So Terry and the next winner is Leslie Presnell House. So both of you, congratulations. You have a, um, a set of stamps of the listed stamps coming your way. Uh, I will post a comment on, um, on last week's video and tag you so that you know how to get in touch with me for those stamps. 
Now, something that's very exciting, Andy is the sweetest person ever. Uh, she told me that when the next rounds of, round of stamps come at the end of October, she will include a few more for me to give away. So stay tuned for that. Um, all right, what else do I have in my list? Oh, I know. Um, so if you were here last week, some of you thought maybe this weird backing up truck noise was in your neighborhood. No, that was in my neighborhood and the truck is back again today. They are clearing out a ton of dirt and it is like a six hour process, I guess. And it was six hours last Saturday. And I think it's going to be six hours again today and I'm about ready to lose my mind with the backing up noise. Anyhow, just know that that's there in the background. It kind of is what it is and we'll just roll with it. Um, okay, let's, let me check my little list. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to flip the camera. You guys, um, I have a ton of products that came back in stock. And so um, we'll take a look at a few of those really quickly. But I'm also afraid that um, when I looked this morning, they came in and some of them have like gone right back out again. So I'll show you what's there. More are on order and we just kind of roll with things. So let me flip our camera. And let's see how that looks. Let's bring the lights up. It, I will probably seem like I'm trying to go pretty quickly today, uh, probably because I want to make sure that uh, we have fun. I am just bringing this up on my iPad like I always do to make sure that I can see that what we're seeing, <laughs> what you guys are seeing, what we're seeing. Yeah, what we're, me and the 18 different versions of me I wish that we had at this point. Okay, so, um, a bunch of the Avenue products came back in stock, and you guys loved the Genfield Avenue when I brought it in originally. A um, bunch of things sold out. They came back in stock, and they are on their way of selling out again if they haven't already. So just know that I have these items on order again. We're a little bit crooked. We have these items on order again if they're sold out. The best thing to you guys to do is if something is sold out, when you go to my website, there's a little button that says notify me when available. That's all automated. So as soon as I add inventory back into stock, it automatically shoots you an email. My biggest piece of advice there is if you get the email and you want it, don't wait because I never know. I never know what's happening these days in terms of what, how quickly things are going to sell based on how much you like them. So the Avenue 6x8 paper pad came back in stock. I will be using um, a little bit of this today. The, and I never even talked about these. They came in and went back out again, coming in. Uh, these are the flower ephemera that coordinate with the Avenue collection. Uh, you guys loved, I mean, Jen, Jen Hadfield's so talented um, and she does beautiful work, beautiful products, but um, these are the uh, phrase ephemera. So lots of really fun little icons and phrases. Hi, Nancy from Ottawa and Michelle from Fullerton. Um, you guys, if I ever miss you or miss your comment and I don't mention your name, please don't be offended. It's just that I missed it. Um, I love you all the same. <laughs> kind of like your kids, right? You have to love them all the same. I'm not saying that any of you are my favorites. I love you all the same. Uh, the Icon Ephemera uh, from the Avenue. I think there were a few left of those this morning. Oh gosh. And then all of these. The Small Talk the chit chat, the clippings, and the small talk snarky. You guys know how much I love my word strip stickers. Um, these are back in stock, and I have a few new ones coming in. You guys, Tim Holtz with Ideology has come out with some of the neatest things recently, and so I've got some really fun things coming in there as well. Alrighty, last couple of things. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did those Heidi stamps go? Um, oh, here we go. I used these on one of my layouts from one of our memory keeping sessions. Oh, this guy. So this stamp set from Heidi, so many good things going with it, but I used uh, that little top part right there. So those are now back in stock. And you guys, those are awesome price. Those are $5.99, I think. Okay, so, um, Let's go ahead and get started. I have things stacked in a whole bunch of different places. All right, so as I was getting ready mentally for today, um, I'll just tell you, I had, I'm just looking for something while we're talking. I had last week, uh, I taught nine classes 
in seven days. And it's been a little crazy. And then we've been little shipping fools, which I love. If you guys, I love what I do. It's so amazing. It is the best job ever. It's the best business ever. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not hard. It, um, it's hard, you guys. It's hard to run your own business because uh, the clock never stops. So as I was sitting down uh, and I started, I was thinking all week about what am I going to do? I don't have a lot of time to plan. And I, we also have kind of a, a shorter condensed time today. Um, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go back to one of my past spreads that I had done in my Coronavirus Traveler's Notebook. And so that was this spread, because this was all the way back in, oh, and look at, I didn't even date it, but I know it's about, this was back in April. And this was a his and hers spread. So uh, this is where I'm working from home, but I always work from home uh, because that's my business. So that was my room as I was working. And then this was my husband, Nick. So he was um, moving back and forth between the kitchen and then a little spot we'd set up in our bedroom because normally he doesn't work from home and our office is my office. So um, this was a very simple, basic spread because... I relied on a grid format. And what I say when I mean a grid format, if you kind of look at this, this is basically a grid. We have two horizontal three by four photos there and two vertical three by four uh, cards there. So super simple, a grid is always a great fallback. Um, Another great fallback, you guys, is go back and look through your past work. Um, it's okay to scrap lift yourself, and that's what we call it. Um, I'm scrap lifting myself here. So um, that is what I am going to do on my first spread. And I am scrap lifting it, if you will, all the way down to the his and hers. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, I... This is this first spread is going to go in my kind of general memory keeping traveler's notebook. So I have three different memory keeping traveler's notebooks going. I have one for coronavirus, I have one for travel, and I have one for general. But in this general, I'm not quite sure yet where I'm going to put it. So my fallback for that, I don't let that stop me, right? Because sometimes we'll be like, oh, I don't know where that's going to fall in my traveler's notebook. I'm skipping around a bit. I just better not do anything because I don't know where it's going to go. Well, my fallback for that is to create my spread on uh, two pieces of paper, basically the size of my traveler's notebook insert. And then I will, um, when I know where that's going to go, I'll just adhere it to my insert pages. Hi from Blanding, Utah, Susie. Um, I live in Cottonwood Heights, so um, not far, well, not far, I mean, Utah, um, but kind of same, well, at least same state, right? All right, so um, my Traveler's Notebook insert is 8.25 tall by five inches wide. So I need two five inches wides. I use 110 pound white cardstock. It is eight and a half by 11. I have linked to that in the description of the video. I buy that reams at a time from, uh, from Amazon. And um, the reason I like eight and a half by 11, because you saw as I was cutting that, I can get two sheets for my traveler's notebook insert out of one piece of paper with virtually zero waste, right? So that is the waste that I have left over as opposed to cutting it from a 12 by 12 sheet. All right, so this will be my base, my two eight and a quarter by fives. Um, lately, oh, I know what I need to grab. Lately, I have been rounding my corners. So I just need to grab my little corner rounder. I've been rounding the corners. So if this is my right hand spread, we'll do this and do that. Um, those of you that are new, I keep, there's tons of new people all the time. Um, those of you that are new, if what I'm doing is completely foreign to you, I have included a link in the description of the video uh, that takes you all the way back to the series that I started back in March, um, kind of this intro to Traveler's Notebook, free Traveler's Notebook series. So that would be a really good thing for you to go back and maybe jump into and watch. I do every other week, um, either a memory keeping in my traveler's notebook session or a list making in my traveler's notebook session. So you can also go back and uh, watch those on my YouTube channel. 
here. Um, all right, so here is my base. Uh, the two photos I'm using, I have printed out two three by fours and I printed out that on my Epson photo print. This is, um, excuse me, Epson Picture Mate photo print, where that came from. Epson Picture Mate PM400. Um, the app is called the Epson Creative Print and it prints photos. So there you go. That explains how I just called it that, that. Um, anyhow, I printed two three by fours on one four by six. Every time we do our memory keeping, I talk about this printer. I always link it in the description of the video. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, I checked this morning, it's back up to 250, which is still a good price, but um, we see that price fluctuate quite a bit on Amazon. It prints four by sixes, it prints five by sevens, it prints three and a half by fives. The reason why I love, love, love it, you guys, is this, because I can basically do a whole bunch of different configurations of my photos on one four by six, right? So using that free little app, that's the Epson Creative Print, I can uh, pull photos from my camera roll on my phone, decide which um, little template I want. In this case, I decided I wanted two three by fours up on a four by six, and there we go. So I am going to come in. Oh, the nice thing too, you can also tell it whether you want it to print white around your photos or not. Linda, happy you're able to catch it live. And I, so I saw, um, I think Marilee, Marilyn, I, it flashed before me very quickly. I know we chatted last night um, on Facebook about this, but um, she happens to be attending also the, uh, the virtual event that I am teaching at uh, this weekend. Really, that started yesterday or Thursday. I guess Thursday. Anyhow, um, so she has a double dose of Lael today. She'll see me right after this. All right, I'm not, okay. Just trimming that one down a little bit and trimming this one down. So that example that I showed you of the his and hers, this is another his and hers. All right, so we have his and hers. Uh, these are two different trips that my husband, Marilee, there we go, yes. Two different trips that my husband and I have taken in the last six months. This is the girl's trip to the beach uh, with um, three very dear friends of mine. We did this trip at the beginning of March, literally right before the whole coronavirus started. And three of the four of us, uh, well, all of us have really known each other for like 30 years, but so you take my husband and two of the other ladies' husbands, and then you get to the hers. So my husband and then two of the other ladies' husbands went on this guy's trip to go fishing uh, last weekend, I wanna say. So I thought would be what would be fun is to just do a little visual, another his and hers. Um, his and hers, you could do ours and theirs, you could do mine and yours, you could do all kinds of different kind of comparisons like that, whether it's different people in your family, it could be favorite foods, it could be your different types of workplaces like I did, it could be your different types of clothing styles, maybe you have a sister and you guys are polar opposites, so this kind of whole idea of his and hers or hers and hers or mine and yours or whatever that would be, could be kind of fun. All right, so with that, I am using, all right, I know this was, oh, okay, sorry. Got a little sidetracked a minute, for a minute there. Uh, I needed to find the papers that I was planning on using for this. So I have pulled two different papers from the Avenue paper pad that I showed you at the beginning. And I bet you can guess which one is the his and hers. Uh, his, I thought this one worked really well for um, kind of that outdoor, that's Nick fishing in a stream. And then I needed something super neutral. I didn't want something to be too beachy. And so I thought this would just be a really good neutral. So I need to bring my trimmer back in and trim both of these pieces down. We talked about the benefits of using six by eight pads before with your traveler's notebooks. Uh, the inserts that I use are 8.25 by five. So a six by eight is like perfectly sized to have a little bit of a border around. So I'm going to trim that down. I think I will go eight, 
I'm gonna trim it down to a, basically a quarter of an inch. Um, no, that will make it half of an inch. So five, four and a half. Just so I'll have a little bit of, let me show you. I'll have a little bit of a border around my page, like so. All right, and then, so this one also needs to do, what did I say, did I do a half inch? I think I did, I better double check. Seven and three quarters. I literally can't remember what I said two minutes ago, let alone what I, oh, I know, I was gonna say let alone what I had for breakfast. I didn't, I just didn't have any breakfast. That's okay, well, I'll get hangry in a while. Oh golly, let's see, four and a half, there we go. Okay, there are the two. So those will then be the pattern papers that I am going to put down. So that will go here and that will go here. Now I am going to bring in my little corner rounder again because I feel like I need rounded corners. This one is so pretty, I don't know if you guys can see, but that is a gold foil. There's some gold foil prints in that Avenue six by eight pad. Um, it's fun. So this uh, virtual event that I'm teaching at this weekend, um, Jen Hatfield also happens to be teaching at that, that, at that. and she um, designed that Avenues collection. Okay, so, um, then again, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Here we go. This is my sketch, basically, since I'm scrap lifting myself, there's my sketch. So I will put, the hers will go down here. Oopsie, I still didn't quite get that. Let me just trim a little bit of this off here. So how is everyone this fine Saturday morning? Fussy cutting scissors. Oh my gosh, Veronica, I know. So you guys, what Veronica is talking about, um, these little fussy cutting scissors. Uh, fussy cutting, if you do not know that term. Um, that is when you take a, let's just do this, because this is just handy. You can see I've already done that. That is when you take a pattern out of a larger piece of paper and you come in and fussy cut it. And you fussy cut it so you can get, in this example, I can get that flower. And I would painstakingly go around and fussy cut that entire flower and then figure out how I would use it. The scissors Veronica is talking about are these fussy cutting scissors on my website. Um, you guys, these seriously are, um, Marilee said they're life changing. They're pretty awesome because they're spring loaded. So they fit right there in your hand like that and they make it super easy just to get in some nice tight cutting places. Um, okay, Melina, yes they are. Um, I didn't, I didn't, um, I did not, link them in the description of the video because I wasn't using them, but I will come back when we're done and link them if you can't find them. If you just search for fussy cutting um, or scissors, actually, if you just search for scissors, you should find them. All right, so there is the start. Now, I need to have journaling blocks, right? Because I need to tell a little bit of a story. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take this piece of pattern paper uh, this is probably my favorite piece of paper of all time. If you buy any of my scrapbook kits, you see that I use this all the time. The reason I use it all the time is for this side. Um, that is great to use, use for journaling, but it also has a little bit of a pattern to it. This side, remember uh, two weeks ago when we were working and I said, oh my gosh, I wish that I had a whole bunch of six by eight papers of this. I wish somebody did a six by eight pad of all of these woods. Um, um, okay, I totally missed something. I'm not sure what I missed. Oh, hi, oh my gosh, Susan. I know that, I forgot that last time. Hi, hon. Uh, Susan is also at the virtual event that I'm teaching at after this. Well, okay, so anyhow, wood grain on one side, grid on the other side. I have something coming next week, you guys, uh, that I will use next weekend, but something coming next week to the shop, um, to my website that I think you guys are going to like that has to do with wood grain on one side and something like this on the other side. Uh, it doesn't exist, so I'm kind of making it just temporarily until maybe someone makes it. All right. So news at 11 on that. All right, so four inches 
my little journaling blocks are going to be three by four because that's the size of my photo. And that will kind of keep that whole grid look consistent. There are my three by fours. So one there, one there, and I may be, I think that's work. that'll work. A little bit bigger than I probably want, but that's okay. I just remembered I need to get my stamping block. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere this. Just throw things on the floor. Uh, you guys, if you saw my floor right now, you would be so afraid. I have probably 12 projects on the floor and kits that are opened up on the floor. I think there's a song. Isn't there a song somebody sings about, like a club song about on the floor or something? Uh, anyhow. As I am adhering, um, in the description of the video, on my videos, I always include links to most of what I'm using. Uh, some of the things I have available on my website, and if it's not something that I sell, then um, I include links. Now, part of that is so, um, if you don't have a local scrapbook store, you know where to find it, um, whether it's from me or you know somewhere else online. But here's the other thing, you guys, too. I also put those links on there. You may see me use a, um, maybe like that tape runner that you just saw me use. And you think, oh my gosh, I wonder if my local scrapbook store carries that because that looks like something that I would want to use. So if you have a local scrapbook store, please, please, please shop from your local scrapbook store. That is so important um, because, and I talked about that last time, I think. It's part of, it's the whole circle of life. It's the, um, like the Lion King, right? The whole circle of life. And it's important that uh, we support all the peoples in our industry. Okay. So there's, I'm not going to put this one down quite yet. You know, I think I might need to trim that a little bit. I think it's still a little bit too tall. So it won't quite be three by four. Oh, that, you guys, so annoying. That stupid truck or the stupid whatever that thing is. Actually, I don't even need to get my trimmer out because since I have lines here, I'm just going to come in and trim right on those lines. That backing up noise is heavens to Betsy. It's very annoying. Okay, so I need these to be even and I can't necessarily assume that those are in the same place. So probably would have been easier if I just grabbed my trimmer. That's all right. Okay, uh, Vera, that is called a corner rounder. Uh, there are a number of different types of corner rounders. I will link to that in the description of the video when we're done. So um, if you just remember to come back, check out the description of the video when we're done. Um, I like this particular set because there are two different uh, size rounds, if you will, that come in the set. All right, so here's our start. I know um, I have the his and hers. So because I don't have enough time, or because I don't have, I shouldn't say enough time, because I don't have a lot of time, when I uh, did this, I actually used stamps to stamp out his and hers. Those were Carrie Bradford stamps. Um, because I don't have a lot of time today, I am going to use the stickers, my sticker book from scrapbook.com. And I use this one all of the time. Uh, so actually, we'll go ahead and adhere these first. So I've got placement. If I could get a thousand little letter sheets of the small alpha in those sticker books. Oh my gosh, I would. Um, I've linked to the sticker books in the description of the video. Um, but I think they have five different, five different, and they come with word strips. You guys know how much, this is like, if somebody picked my brain and said, hey, we're going to make a sticker book, tell us what you'd like in it. Uh, word strips, and then a couple different alphas, right? Different colors, different alphas. And even even the, the label stickers. Uh, they didn't pick my brain. But if they did, I would have told them, this is what I want. And I'm sure they would have done it, <laughs> right? Uh, although they're very nice people. Okay, so um, we need to do hers here. To bring in a little bit of color, I am going to use the light pink stickers. 
So H. And I can scrap lift myself. I mean, even if I wanted to do a whole book with the same format, and actually you guys know, I have done something like that before. Um, my travel, uh, the photos out the airplane window, I have stuck with the same format on that because it it's just kind of pleasing to the eye. Um, all right, so let's see. That is gets a little bit lost. Those may not stay there, we'll have to see. You can see they get a little bit lost. We'll see what else we work with um, as we do this. But I am perfectly fine with scrap lifting myself. This one, this layout will be going in my generic memory keeping traveler's notebook. And this one that's over here that I'm scrap lifting, um, being inspired by is in my coronavirus traveler's notebook. So they will never see each other. It's like they're divorced. Okay, so there's hers, and then his is going to be over here. So we will have to see. I need to order one of these because I can tell I'm going to be out of this alpha soon. Okay, his. H. Oh, I know what I forgot to do there. I'll come back and do that. H. I. S. Oh, I am using, um, sometimes I forget to tell you what I'm using. These little reverse grip tweezers I have on my website. I think I've linked them in the description of the video. Uh, these are awesome when you're trying to pull stickers off the sticker sheet because they're reverse grip. Uh, Deanna from Melbourne. 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 Um, welcome. I'm glad you guys don't hear it, the beeping. I know. Yeah. Um, oh, good. So it sounds like I did link the corner rounder in the description. You guys, a lot of times I will, um, I kind of try to keep the generic things that I use a lot in the description so that I'll just copy and paste from video to video so I don't, um, so sometimes you'll see something in there that I don't use or sometimes I use something and I forget that it's not there. All right, I like to add little uh, periods at the end. So there's my little period for his, all right. And then I need to go back and grab the little one for hers. Oh, I bet you heard that, <laughs> whatever that is. Oh goodness, all right, so there's his and hers. Um, I will come in with my All right, I had to think about how I want to do that. My outlining with my Sharpie. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. That, like, that um, whatever it is has a big bucket and it sounds like it's going along the street. It's just a little background music, right? Just pretend. Pretend that it's just background music. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, so, you guys... The, there were lots of orders last week and um, we, everything up until I think Tuesday of last week, Tuesday or Wednesday, we are now caught up on. Um, so that was date night for Nick and I last night. Well, it's been date night for lots of nights, but that was date night for Nick and I last night was to get everything out at least through anything that was ordered last Saturday. You guys that have ordered for me before know that that is definitely not the norm. It's just been a little crazy with those listed stamps. And then I had three different scrapbook kits uh, that started shipping last week too. And it's so funny. I'm so thankful that Nick helps me um, ship because it would be insane. But he's like, uh, honey, do you think that maybe you could plan a little differently so we don't have like a whole bunch of things dropping at the same time? And I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, in a perfect world, yeah, but you know, you gotta take it as it comes, hon, so. <laughs> Anyhow, bless his heart. He's golfing again, we may see him. The ballet of the unloader, yes, perfectly. The ballet of um, 
<laughs> of the, uh, of the, yes, that's funny. I like that. The washi gel plan. Oh, Sheila, you know what? I am still waiting. Believe me, I am um, last Monday. I responded to them again and said, hey, I really need to know what the replacement is, the replacement ink for the gel pen. So um, I have not heard. I promise I will reach out again on Monday and I'll just keep pestering them because I need to know too. I mean, I need to know. I have the pens too. I use the pens. I need to know what the refill is. So um, I have a sneaky feeling that um, because it's taking so long that they don't know um, because they manufactured the pens and then they haven't figured out what the exact replacement is. So I know there's a replacement because I know that they didn't, you know, come up with some totally different kind of pen that wouldn't have a replacement. They're just trying to find it, I think. That's at least my my guess. Um, outline your pink letters. So Lynn, I may do that. So let's, let me show you what Lynn's talking about. Um, and I uh, will probably only do one of these right now. Uh, she's talking about coming in and outlining my pink letters. So that will totally make them pop. Stand out, see the difference in how the H looks versus, let me bring that up so you can kind of see, how the H looks versus the ERS, right? It really makes it pop. So the only thing with that is you want to go very slowly because sometimes I will, well, it's no secret. I am like the world's most impatient person. Uh, and so I generally try to do something like that very quickly. And if you do that very quickly, well, then you know what happens. You end up going over the letter and accidentally writing on the letter, which generally that's not the look you're going for. But here's the thing. If it happens, it happens. Just I leave it and move on. Uh, I always use a Sharpie. I link the Sharpies. Um, it's a super fine tip Sharpie. Mom. Yes, sweetie. Oh, uh, so see, Sam just came into my office and he walked around the side where all the projects were on the floor that I was telling you guys about. Uh, he's like, Mom. And I should say, Sam, I'm going to walk to your room and go, Sam. My room's clean right now. Yes. Dad made me clean it yesterday. Oh, okay. All right, you leaving, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, love you. Love you okay, bye-bye. Oh, um, are you, are you going where I think you're going? Flowers? Okay. All right. Okay. Excuse us, guys. Just had to do a little momming there. All right. So there we go. Hers now pops. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, Sharpie. So the paper that I mentioned. You can call me when we're done with that. Okay. Hey, will you get me on Yes. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Um, oh, so this paper is gold foil. So those flowers are gold foil. And I used my Sharpie to outline those because, um, well, I always use a Sharpie, but I'm gonna have a better chance of that not smearing if I use my Sharpie and it's permanent. I will tell it, you guys, I'll tell Sammy, everyone said hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Susie, that is a great idea. Um, comparisons between your two boys. And those of you that are scrapbookers, you could do the exact same thing in two 12 by 12 double page spreads. Uh, you could have multiple photos and do the comparison. So kind of the his and hers. It's similar to like the he said, she said. So that would be a fun thing to do. And maybe that's something I'll think for one in the future. He said, she said. And then, you know, if you're doing something like that too, like a he said, she said, or a she said, she said, it would be a great idea to take your little journaling block like this and give it to the person and have them write whatever the he said, she said is. Um, because then... That way, you get their handwriting in your memory keeping. You wouldn't want to give that to me or Jack or Dad. Because your handwriting. Yeah, we, okay. we all have Dad's handwriting. Yes, you all have Dad's handwriting. Unlike right? you, and you guys, you guys got my font. You have my perfectly straight teeth and Dad's handwriting. <laughs> Except I'm starting to get Dad's teeth. Mm. Okay, sorry, you guys. Um, yep, yeah, you guys missed Sam, so we had to have a little chit chat. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. He, you, he said to tell everyone hello. Um, all right. Oh, Kathy, no naps. But you know what? I'm not a napping person. I've never been a napper. My mind, I just can't. I can't. I know. We miss Sam, but yeah, he's 19. So now that, well, anyhow, he's awful doing whatever he's doing. Okay. So there's the base. Um, 
One of the things that I incorporated when I did this, I had two word strip stickers. So I thought I would pull out some of my word strip stickers and do the same thing next to the his and hers because then it kind of, um, well, I think it kind of needs it. So let's look here. Uh, I know I don't want snark, well, I, I think I don't want snarky on this one uh, because it's not snarky. It is not a, oh, I have both small talks. I have two small talks and no snarky. So let's start there and see. Oh, go where your heart takes you. That's a good one. Hmm, I have an idea. Let's see if this might work. It might be too, oops, might be too long. Let's see. Go where your heart takes you. All righty, so. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna stick this down here for a second. It doesn't, it's too long. Nope, not gonna work. What I was thinking was, let me just tell you what I was thinking. Um, in the small talk stickers, you have, I think, eight sheets and you have white with black writing and then the same exact sentiments repeat on the second set of sheets, but they're black with white writing. So I thought, ooh, that could be fun to go with where your heart takes you and then the opposite colors, but too long. So we'll find something else. Um, ooh, start doing things you love. That is good, right? That works. Start doing things you love. That might work, it's still a little bit long, but we'll see. I, let's see, maybe that could work for both of us. And what I would do would be, so here's start doing things you love. We have in the black and the white. So what if we do this right here next to Nick? Actually, I will come in, I'm going to trim this just a tad won't be quite as long. It'll just give me a little bit more room. So start doing things you love. That could go on Nick's. And then let's chop this one too. I could cut it in half. I could cut it in half and stack it, absolutely. Uh, Bonnie, you can jump in at any time, especially what we're doing right now. So Bonnie just asked if she needed to st start at the beginning of the series or if she can jump in any time. So um, what we are doing now, we are, um, oh yeah, no, that does not work. Too much, rah, rah, rah. yeah, not going to work. So I do not like that. So maybe in next, start with the thing, start doing the things you love. Maybe that can stay there. And then I think I need another white one there. So we'll just go ahead and put this back. Um, sorry, Bonnie, you do not need to start. If you are brand new to using a traveler's notebook, I would suggest that you start the very beginning with the very first video. Um, other than that, we alternate now back and forth between one week we do memory keeping in our traveler's notebook and then the other week we do uh, listing. And the listing is super fun. But either of those, you can jump in at any time. Okay, let's see. What, 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 what would work here? I still need something. Ah, make it happen. That would be good because sometimes we really have to fight to make our little getaways happen, right? I think that might work. We'll see. All right, so now our journaling cards. Um, I thought what I might do... I need, you guys know that um, a lot of what I do tends to be super graphic um, in terms of I love really clean lines. And this for me is a little bit outside of my comfort zone because I have, um, I have pattern and pattern and there's not enough kind of black and white graphics. So there are a couple things that I pulled out that I thought would help it make, make it more me basically. So the first is I'm pulling this little sun from that Heidi Swap set that I showed at the beginning, Heidi Swap stamp set that I showed at the beginning. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I just bought a whole bunch of colored inks from the stamp market. Not quite ready to use. It's funny, Veronica. I know you were one. A couple of people were like, uh, "Are you like you're you're leaving your black ink?" No, um, just trying to branch out, but not ready to branch out today because. Um, yeah, not, not quite ready to branch out quite yet. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hang on. I need to get out of my little pendant area here and grab my white because I got ink on my 
I got ink on my block, and then, of course, I touched it to see if I got ink, and I did, so now I need to clean it off my fingers. Ay, ay, ay. Golly. Messy stamper. You guys know that about me. I know there are different ways to do it, and I could have done it differently, but I didn't, so there. It is what it is. Okay. All right. So that little that little sun. Actually, the sun should probably be over here on Nyx. Uh, right here. Can you see? Oh, let me see. Okay, little sun. All right. So what I was doing here, I just that's just my little like scratch thing that I stamp on. Uh, always test it first especially if it's a brand new um, stamp that you haven't stamped with before, you always want to test it first um, and then prime it by getting your ink, you know, getting it loaded up with ink and, uh, okay, there's that. Now, I know I should be using color for this, but I'm not gonna, going to use color. I am building this little rainbow. That's part of that stamp set. So what's cool about the rainbow the rainbow is, it has three different um, little bows. <laughs> I don't know. It has three little, you know, different. So you could be doing different colors uh, in your rainbow if you wanted. So let's just see. I'm Because I'm going to use black. I know that's totally crooked, but let's just see if it's kind of cute skimwampus like that. So here's the thing. This is what I'm thinking. When you look at those two side by side, that's really big compared to that. So I am not going to use the rainbow. I instead am going to use the little heart that is also part of that. That's another reason why you might want to test something first because you might see the scale of it and go, oh yeah, that would be too big. That's not going to work. Good morning, Geraldine. All right, we'll just use this little stamp. I mean, the little stamp, the little heart. Since we have it handy. And it's about the same scale. It'll be close. There's my heart. You guys notice if you've, this is the, some of the Roy G. Bibb showing some of the, the washi, talking about things from some of our last sessions. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're just going to pretend, we're just going to pretend that I didn't do that because I, let's get this away for now. Away, away, away. Oh, actually not away. Uh, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I uh, got a nice little smudge of uh, ink there. A nice little smudge that I didn't want to get. Okay, anyhow, oh, and I just made it worse. Oh, I just made it way worse. So guess what we're going to do? Uh, bear with me very quickly. I am going to cut another one of those. Because that's too much. Normally I say just move on. I can't move on from that, that's bad. And I don't wanna put anything over it. Okay, so pull this little guy back off. Over there. Line this guy back up again. Good as new. No one even knows I did that except for you guys. Erase it with a sand eraser. So Millie, I'm not sure what a sand eraser is. Oh, I won't change, Veronica. I'm too old. I am too old to change. I don't think that's going to happen. There are some things I would love to change, but I don't think that, I just don't think it's in the cards. So it is what it is. All right, we'll go back to fixing this very quickly. And then I will go back. 
Really, I don't know why I do that in the middle. That's part of the problem. If I didn't do that in the middle, it wouldn't cause problems. If I did it um, like on the edge, it'd be way better. Okay, let's get that out of the way for now. Let me just make sure my hands are clean so I don't accidentally do that again. Tombow, sand eraser. I'm going to have to look into that. I, I know, Diane, never too old to change. Um, I'll have to look into that, the sand eraser. All right, so now um, I have two different dates. So these were taken at two different times. Uh, mine was March 1st. I have, you guys know this, you know this date stamp. This is the date stamp that I use all the time. And that would be this little guy that puts hearts or it puts stars or whatever it is between all of your dates. So that is the, um, one of the roller date stamps. I've linked to all three roller date stamps in the description of the video. So I have two new ones. So one is Heidi Swap and one is DIY shop. So let's just really quick look at this guy because I think what I might wanna do is use this one on mine. So it has uh, three, really three, four different individual rollers. Um, one is the month, one is your two digit date, and one is the year. So this would be March 1st. 20. What's nice about this one too is that it also has two O and then a blank. So basically you could use this until 2099 because I'm sure you'll still be memory keeping in 2099. All right, so let's see what this one looks like. What's so cool about it is um, if you know Heidi Swap, she has very, very, very recognizable uh, handwriting. And the days of or the months of the year are in her handwriting. So look how fun that is. March is in her handwriting. And then I have a super basic 01 2020. So that is what I'm going to use to date, to date, to date mine, my hers. So March 1, 2020, and that will go down here in the center. March 1, 2020. All right, then let's take a look at the other one. You guys know me and my date stamps. Love them. All right, the other one, this one is DIY Shop. Um, and it's similar in that it has the days of the week. Um, actually, <laughs> it doesn't. This one has months of the year. This one has days of the week. Um, this one, let's see, this was Sunday. September uh, 13th. So Nick just did this a couple weekends ago. All right, so days of the week, this would be Sunday, but then it also has some other ones like date, photograph, don't forget, created on. The created on is kind of fun too. This would be September 13. And what's neat, when I do this, you can kind of, it kind of even further, um, this one goes up to 2023. The nice thing too, it goes back to 2012. So if you are dating older things, um, you know, older projects, you could use it there too. Uh, what is fun, I think, is that this is kind of scripty. So this is a little bit more feminine, like my side is going. And then this is a little bit more um, block font which will be a little bit more masculine. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Or maybe that's how I did it. I'm sure that's how I did it. I'm sure that's how I turned that. Okay, so hang on. This one I have to not really rock, but part rock. Not kid rock, just part rock. Or schoolhouse rock. You guys remember schoolhouse rock? When we were, there we go. And I've got a little bit of rock in on that. All right, let's try it. Um, yeah, I'm just chit-chatting to myself. Schoolhouse rock. I loved that. Talk about like Saturday morning routine, right? That was such a part of my Saturday morning routine when I was a little kid to watch. Um, well, actually, it was schoolhouse rock on the weekend. I mean, on the weekdays after school. 
I don't know. I'm just chatting. All right, let's see how we go here. Sunday, September 13th. There we go. Now, I did not do that centered, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, I should have been there for whatever reason I did it right there. Okay. Um, wipe the extra. So you mean this guy, right? I know I was playing with fire right there. I was living on the edge because uh, that extra ink I didn't wipe off. So what, um, what Carol was saying was this that I could have gone in here and wiped that off. And luckily, um, I, I averted disaster because it could have put extra ink there. All right, so both are now dated. Now, let's see what else that I wanted to put here. I pulled out a few other things. Um, this, these little pieces um, are all perforated. And they come from the Avenues Phrases, um, the Avenues Phrases die cuts. So this noted, I thought might work. I don't know where, we'll see. Maybe it works right here, maybe, maybe. And then we have love and we have best day. But now, you know what I'm starting to do? I'm starting to get really matchy-matchy, like same thing on the right and left. So I don't know that I wanna do that. The noted may just stay there. Um, all right, I think I'm going to put a little line right here just to separate like that. And then I will do my journaling. Um, I am not going to do my journaling right now. It is um, 11 my time, 10 your time. So we have about a half of an hour left. So I will finish this one up um, after the fact and I will try to um, post this one later today. Uh, put a sticker next to it, Karen. Yes, I could absolutely put a sticker next to it. Or here's the other thing that I could do. I could take, um, oh, you know, the fallback washi, the ruler. You guys know how much I love the ruler. Um, the ruler could maybe go, no, yeah, that won't work. I'd cover up the bird. I don't want to cover up, well, I don't know. Let's take a look. It could do something like this, and we could cover up that bird. There's lots of other birds. Okay. This would be much easier if I had it in the book, but I don't have it in the book right now, so... Da, 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 there we go. All right. So that will, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Yeah, no, Ooh, no, no, no. All right, so that will now stay because Washi is on a photo. Washi is pretty much, um, will lift up no problem unless you put it on a photo and then it's pretty much down. So I, this will not go there now. Um, we'll finish it, I will finish it. I'll finish that one later. Okay, so there is the first spread, the next spread. Um, let's grab this out of the way, this, all of these things out of the way. I um, I posted a picture on Instagram and in Facebook, um, the mail by mail Facebook page of what my floor looked like yesterday. So. If you're curious, you can go to those and see what the floor looks like. Oh, I forgot. These are sitting here because the Avenue stickers also came back in stock. Um, all right, my next spread. My next spread is going into my Travel Traveler's Notebook. And it is going right here. So I spent uh, two weeks ago when we did our list with me, I did our trip to Bryce. And I thought I would just show you how those turned out. I posted a few of them on Instagram. This one I posted on Instagram, and you guys saw me make that one. Uh, this is how uh, this one turned out. I also posted this one on Instagram. That, I think we were pretty much done with that one. How did I get an E? That's bizarre. I have an E on my finger. Uh, there's how that one turned out. And this is how this one turned out. So, um, all the little tiny photos, just different photos from that trip. 
the tip-in postcard, did some journaling on the back of the postcard, uh, the little library. So that's the library pocket, the library pockets that I carry on my site. I put a photo of that on the front of the pocket. I'll do a little bit more journaling right there on the library card as it tucks in. That little sticker was from um, Bryce. And then that is the, um, remember we talked about shrinking down your receipts, taking photos of them or photocopying them. That is what I ended up doing with the receipt for the National Park uh, when we went in. So there we go. All right, so I am going to do another spread. I need to figure out where that E came from. Uh, going to do another spread right here. We'll just put the E right there. So later I'll be like, where did the E go? Go to go back to the breathtaking page. Is it that one? No, that's not breathtaking. That's, oh, <laughs> hello, I get it. Thank you. There we go. Thank you so much. I get what you're saying now. Go back to the breathtaking page. Yes, the E came off the breathtaking page. Um, okay, so one thing that's happening here, you guys, See how that's come out, that little signature? Those pieces are called little signatures. That signature has come out. And I might as well do this right now while we are, well, no, I won't. Um, I'll just tell you how I fix that. I fix it with scotch tape, okay? I fix it with acid-free scotch tape and it's clear so you don't see it, but sometimes that happens and that's just part of using a traveler's notebook. Sometimes your little paper comes out of the staples and that's what happened. That's what has happened there. All right, so one more girls trip spread. This is also how when I jump around, I have um, my little stickies that tell me uh, what I'm doing. All right, so that's Priest Lake. This one is, okay, so I have three of those because I took my sticky out. All right, three of those. Okay, it's this one. Okay. Um, let me get organized again. This is another one of the papers from that Avenue pad. And this will not surprise you guys. Yes, Millie, I could go back and stitch that together, which is a great idea, I should do that. Um, I did a video, oh my gosh, it seems like years ago now. It's you know been a couple months, but we did it. I did a video on making your own traveler's notebook inserts. And so I talk about how you can make your own inserts, your own little signatures, and then stitch everything together. So if you're interested in doing that, um, I talk about the type of needle I used and the type of um, string or thread that I use to hand stitch um, a traveler's notebook insert, um, how to put it together, but that's a great idea. I think I'll do that. I'll just pull out my, my needle and my, uh, my string and do that. This is another one of the papers from the Avenue Paper Pad. And knowing my love, you guys, for all of these, like the word strip stickers, it doesn't surprise you that I love, love, love this paper. What's really cool about it too is that everything is black with the exception of all the memories are in gold foil. So that will be a great base for my page. Uh, I am going to trim this down. Sorry, those, any six by eight pad, I think it's just so awesome when you're working in a traveler's notebook because you have, well, the Avenue pad has 36 different patterns to it. So you have so many different options at your fingertips without having to trim something down. Um, the other nice thing is that the pattern is scaled down for the size as well. So if you're cutting down like a 12 by 12 piece of paper, um, you still have the same scale pattern, which sometimes is a little bit too big. All right, we did a half here, we'll do a half here again. Um, no, five, four and a half. All right, so this guy will go right there. And then the other side is going to be this wood grain. And it will make sense why I'm using wood grain in a second. Let's see, so I need this to be seven and three quarters by four and a half. And that will become this side. Left side, right side. Hi, Anna. Hi, Donna. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so uh, corner rounder again. I will come in and round corners. Round corners. Like so. Okay. Ooh. So um, I have on my website, uh, if you, well, you guys, most of you have been, um, laylbymail.com, you know that I do lots of traveler's notebooks and traveler's notebook inserts and covers and things like that. And then I also do um, product like six by eight pads and stickers and things that I use to decorate my traveler's notebooks. But then I also do scrapbook kits. So some layout kits and some mini book kits. And one of my layout kits, this was a title that was part of that kit. And it said best day ever. And I happen to have some of these left over just sitting on my, not my dresser, my, my uh, Ikea thing that's sitting across the room. And so this morning I saw that and I thought, oh, you know what, this would be kind of fun. That best day ever. And so um, I am going to use that. That is why I am using that dark wood. I need something to really ground that because that is white. I don't want that to be color um, and I don't want to just use black or something. So that's a really good kind of a neutral to use. The wood grain is a good neutral to use for what I'm going to put on this side. So I will come in here and... adhere this. You guys didn't know that I live inside of a rock quarry, did you? I didn't tell you that. I've, all along, you just think I live in a normal neighborhood. I live in a rock quarry. I'm totally kidding. But if you've been on my lives the last two weeks, you would totally think I live in a rock quarry. Do you keep your list and memory keeping in your monthly TNs? Um, Bonnie, I use my lists and my memory keeping in... Um, just generic inserts. So this one is a dot grid. Um, the dot grid I have on my website. Sometimes I use the lined. So that is what you see here. That's the lined insert. Um, but Jen, I do not keep um, my lists in my monthly or my weekly. Um, so I don't know if I answered that. I'm not sure if I answered your question right, Bonnie. If I didn't, shoot me an email and then um, then I will understand what you're at. I mean, it's not that you're not, you know what I mean. Shoot me an email and then I will be able to answer it. Okay, so best day ever. If you, um, if you have a die cut machine, like I have a silhouette. If you have a silhouette or a Cricut or whatever you have um, and you are cutting things out, like this is super generic, right? This best day ever is super generic. So um, I happen to cut some extras because why not? I mean, you should cut extras. Actually, I didn't want to do that just yet. Hang on. Um, if you are doing die cuts for yourself out of your machines, cut extras and put them in a folder because you never know when you could use something like that in your, um, you know, in your work, in your memory keeping, whether it be scrapbook or traveler's notebook or what have you. The reason I pulled that back off I need my little glue pen because I want to add just a few dabs of glue behind all these little, well, not all of them, but I need to just tack this down a bit so those pieces don't lift up and get caught on something and then rip. Because we don't want all of our nice work to rip, do we? Oh, Karen, 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 Karen. In this case, Karen, I am using the Karen. Um, oh, you need to use it. You know what? Go to Google and Google um, how to get started using your silhouette. It is, it is seriously, it is amazing, 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 amazing. Um, this cut file that I'm using, um, it's a friend of mine, Nick Nawasad, and her website is just Nick. I think it's just NIC. Um, anyhow, she does amazing cut files. And so you just purchase it. And I did purchase a commercial license for my kit, um, for my scrapbook kit. Uh, anyhow, um, yes, 
use it, Karen. Use it, use it, use it. And um, if you guys, if you do have a silhouette, or I, I don't know if it works. For, well, anyway, if you do have a die cutting machine, go see Nick's website, just Nick. Um, right, Tracy, you're right. Don't be afraid to um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just play. Danielle, oh, I love it, you guys. Danielle and Mandy, I love that you guys know Nicole. Now, I shouldn't say this. I was going to say, well, Mandy, you're from Canada. And Nick happens to also be from Canada, which would be the silliest thing to say because that would be like me saying, oh, Karen, well, you're from the U.S. You must know her. Yeah, no. Okay, so there's the left side start of my spread. On the right side. So this is going in my travel traveler's notebook. This is a photo of a lake. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Tiffany. Um, oh, Karen, that's okay. You know what? We all can't be, we all can't be experts at everything. Um, so this is a lake that we go to with friends of ours uh, in northern Idaho called Priest Lake. And it is, um, if you've heard of Coeur d'Alene, that's a pretty famous lake in northern Idaho, Coeur d'Alene. Um, this is north of there. So um, that is a sunset, obviously. Well, I guess it could be a sunrise, but that is a sunset. Um, and it is like heaven on earth, literally heaven on earth. And it is so calm and peaceful there. And it is the best place to go to just, abs my eyes are closed because I'm like picturing it. Um, normally I say we're all together in Hawaii right now and we're all you know, in a giant, amazing beach house that would hold us all. And we're on the cliffs in Maui and we have all the doors open and the breeze is coming in. For today, we're at Priest Lake and we are looking at this amazing view because that's my other go-to happy place. Anyhow, it's just, it's the most, you go there and unplug and it's amazing if you have a place, even if it's your backyard that you can go and unplug. It's amazing how it's just refreshing and rejuvenizes you, right? So, uh, this, you'll notice that is a four by six. So this is photo paper. I printed that. That is a four by four photo printed on four by six paper. And I did that out of the Epson as well. Um, the little template or um, the little canvas I selected had a four by six here and two little pictures right here. I just didn't put anything in the little pictures and I printed it out this way. I am not trimming this down because what I thought was, you know what? I could do my journaling on the bottom part of this photo. I just need to make sure to use the right kind of pen. Jill, I love when I hear that. I love it when I hear that people know Priest Lake. And then I always have to ask if I know you from teaching at Three Craft Chicks um, in the Spokane area because that's not too far from Priest Lake. Okay, so that is going to go right there. Um, you guys, this is another example of, um, it's really basic. I didn't have to do a lot of planning on this on this one. I let that die cut really do a lot of the work for me, and then the photo do a lot of the work for me here. So what I am going to do, this little die cut is from the Avenue Phrases Die Cut Ephemera Pack. And I thought this would be a great thing to put right here because it's really going to separate the photo from the journaling that I do. So that's going to go just like that. And it will go right here. Note to self. All right, now um, I have shown this pen before. This is a Zig Photo Signature Pen. I have linked to this in the description of the video. I do not sell these. Um, if you have a local scrapbook store, sometimes local scrapbook stores sell these, or um, I've linked to it on Amazon. Um, this is a pen that is designed very specifically to write on photos. So let's just kind of do a little demonstration here. This is a four by six uh, photo paper, right? Four by six photo paper, shiny. This is like your regular gloss, not a matte. So in my right hand, oh, I was gonna say in my right hand, I have this. My right hand, I have the Zig Photo Signature Pen. In my left hand, I have a Sharpie. I probably will grab one more pen. So 
This is the Zig Photo Signature Pen. Sharpie pen, I'm going to keep writing. So do you see what's happening? This pen is not designed to write necessarily on a glossy surface. So do you see how it's getting a little bit less black and I'm starting to see some spacing in my letters? That is basically the difference between the Zig Photo, Photo Signature Pen and the Sharpie Pen. Um, they both will work, but the Zig Photo Signature is designed to write on photos. It's designed to be photo safe, so it's not going to hurt your photo. If I were to decide to write on this photo right here, it wouldn't hurt my photo. Let's see what else it tells us. Permanent ink, fade resistance, water resistant, dries quickly, will not smear. And then it says once dry. So just make sure that you let that dry. Um, I'm going to look at one more thing here. This is another Zig pen. Um, it is not, so it's acid free. It is pigment ink. So it's pigment ink versus, um, well, this one doesn't say. Anyhow, let's try this one out to see. All right, so that one works. Okay, the Sharpie is smearing. The Zig Photo Signature Pen is awesome. It did not smear at all there. So um, there's a difference between those three pens. If you are ever going to write on a photo, um, I would skip all of that and jump to that Zig Photo Signature because it's just a no brainer. Um, but don't use this on non-photo paper because um, it does not, it's really weird. It like, it just, it feels really weird when you're writing. It is not designed to write on um, non-photo paper. And you would spend more for that. I think that's, I don't know. Um, you would probably spend more for that than you would a regular Sharpie. So you don't want to use it for both things. Thank you. Um, Colleen, I appreciate the time check. Uh, yes, Sheila, there used to be slick writers for writing on photos. American Crafts made them. Um, American Crafts, I don't know if they make them anymore. American Crafts is a great company. They make some great products. I am not a fan of their pens. Um, they tend to dry out, um, it seems, very quickly. So um, if you, yeah, anyhow, I jump straight to, I don't know if they make them anymore. I jump straight to the Zig Photo Signature Pen. All right, so let's talk about, um, let's just see. Pretty Slick Idaho, Heaven on Earth, um, any day at Priest Lake is the best day ever. Um, um, let's see. I have to think what else. I, I don't think ahead of time on what, um, I don't think ahead of time on what I want to say, <laughs> clearly, because now I'm like, oh, yes, what else do I want to say about the best day ever? Priest Lake, um, let's see. It's amazing how a quick little getaway can be so energizing and rejuvenating. Um, now I've run out of room, but I need a little bit more space. So then I just put so lucky. All right. So um, it is, I mean, it's, this is, because this is probably um, a super, super, super basic, basic, basic um, way to memory keep, right? I mean, there's not much product on here. I have two pieces of paper. I did a little cut file. 
um, a photo, a sticker, and some journaling. Not everything has to shove all of the product on it. And not everything has to be a masterpiece. Not everything also has to tell a two-page story. Um, it can. Your memory keeping can do all of those things. It can do some of those things. There's no right or wrong way. I always say you do you, right? So however you do, yes, Veronica, I need to outline. However you decide to do your memory keeping, um, this was a pretty simple, I keep pulling this guy and he's just about, um, he's just about done. Um, whatever way you do your memory keeping, for me, and we talk about this a lot, these Saturdays are all about, um, for me, this is the only time, you guys, the only time that I get any of my personal crafting or memory keeping done. Um, so it's good because it has forced me to work on things. But I love to be crafty. It's something that I need. I know that about me. It's something that I need and that I have to have. Um, so even if it's something like this, you just throw a photo down and a couple stickers and then tell a little story, it's good, right? I mean, it's good if it gives you that crafty, um, like your little, just you, you get some craftiness in, right? So for me, that's what it is all about. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, these are, these are back too. Um, I forgot. These are the puffy hearts from the Avenue. They're the gold puffy heart stickers. These took forever and a day to come back in. Um, I think we just, we just, we just, we are going to just keep this super simple. We'll put that little guy there and then I need to date it. So the date was, uh, July 16th. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use a date stamp. I'm going to put this right here. Ooh, okay, hold on. We might not be able to see that. Well, that'll be okay. July 16, 2020. Here's the thing, not everything has to be like in your face to see it. It's subtle, but you can still see that I have dated it. All right, my friends, I am going to flip the camera. Um. I'm sorry that we only had an hour and a half today. Uh, that was, though, I have to make sure that I'm, <laughs> that's going to sound weird, still clothed and nothing's <laughs> out of place. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, let's flip it and spin. Wee. All right. Um, I know that was weird that I said still clothed. I think the reason I said that is because um, right there. Um, okay. So, um, Sorry that we only had an hour and a half today. I would love to keep crafting, but I, um, I have another fun thing that I need to go do for that um, virtual event that is taking place this weekend. Uh, it was, you guys, I so many times thought, you know what, Lil, what are you doing? Why don't you just cancel? I mean, why don't you just not have one this weekend? Because really that would be the smart thing to do. And I know that Nick would have told me, you know what, honey, uh, can't do it all. So why don't you just, um, you know, skip a week. You guys, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Part of it was because I know, um, I know this means a lot to some of you because you tell me. You tell me how much you enjoy these sessions and I think they're just a big gab session and we all get together and talk and have fun and craft and, uh, well, I talk, you guys listen, some of you chat. Um, but I couldn't not do it. Um, I just couldn't. So, um, I don't, that probably means I'll do these forever. I'll be 92 and I'll be like, okay, now get out your pen. Um, but I will keep doing them as long as you guys keep coming. Uh, the fall is typically really, really, really busy for me in terms of teaching. So since I'm, well, I'm, well, anyhow, um, there may be some Saturdays where I can't do them at all, but if I can't do it at all on Saturday, I'll figure out a Friday night or a Thursday or a Sunday, or I'll just pre-record it and then we won't be live, but, um, what I can do is if I have to pre-record something, I can set it up as a premiere. Premiere is the way I did the very, very, very first, way back March 21st, that's the way I did the first video where it was recorded. And um, the nice thing with the premiere is you guys could still chat. I just, if I'm teaching, wouldn't be in part of the chat, but um, anyhow. So just know that we'll keep doing them and I'll figure out how they keep working and um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. There, one thing I wanna say about next week, um, well, two things. So last week, um, we didn't get to our third list, so we will do that as one of our lists for next week, next week and that was the nicknames. Um, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, just go to laylbymail.com and click on blog and then you'll be able to go back to what I was talking about last week for the list. Then um, one of the other lists I want to do is women you admire. So think a little bit about that this week. And that topic came directly out of Notorious RBG. RG, RBG, RBG, yes. RGB, anyhow, you know what I mean. Um, RBG, um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So that she will be at the top of my list in terms of women I admire. Uh, so if you want to think a little bit about that, the reason I bring that up is that I am going to find, I don't, I haven't looked for it yet, but I'm going to find something on Google that I can print, um, some image of her caricature, not caricature in a bad way, but of her, and that will be a two page spread and she will be front and center on one of the pages. So, um, if you kind of want to think about that for next week and as always, you guys, with any of the listing, um, when we do our list, if you have any suggestions for topics, I would love to hear them. I still have a good list going, um, but if you have any suggestions, you can either leave them in the comments, not in the chat, because it's hard for me to find them in the chat, but leave them in the comments, or just shoot me an email or hop on social media and direct message me from there. Likewise, if there's anything memory keeping related and you have questions about, hey, have you ever tried this product or what about this or why would I use this versus this or... Um, would you show me how you'd handle one big photo or a bunch of small photos? Any questions like that? Um, especially if there's a product that um, you haven't tried or you're wondering if I have tried it and I haven't, it may be something that I can get and then try it as we're all working together. So with that said, um, thank you guys for joining today. Have um, a wonderful rest of your Saturday and rest of your weekend. And I will, um, I will see you guys next Saturday, if not before. All right. Thanks for joining. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.